gaining closure from the narcissist. Closure. Many people seek this and are encouraged to attain it when dealing with a distressing, troubling or traumatic episode in their life. They seek to draw a line under the matter, to gain understanding, to achieve acceptance of what has happened to them, the reasons for it, and that the matter is now over. That it has been placed in a box which has been nailed shut, and then wheeled away into a deep and secret tomb where the heavy door is closed sealed, locked and bolted, and the matter laid to rest. Quite understandably, when it comes to the ensnarement with our kind, repeatedly people seek closure. They want to move on. They no longer want the unpleasant devaluing behaviour to continue. They want the pain and hurt arising from the ensnarement, to fade away. They wish to understand what has happened to them. They wish to gain knowledge about what has happened to them, why the relationship went the way that it did, why the outcome that occurred did occur, and why the matter should indeed be left and put away. Understandably, much of this results in wanting to obtain closure with regard to the involvement with the narcissist and invariably leads people to think, in order to gain closure from the narcissist, I need to get answers from the narcissist. Of course, that is an understandable sentiment. This person has treated you in a particular way. They came like the whirlwind of glitter and rainbows and joy and ecstatic sex into your life, picked you up and whirled you round, and then promptly trampled all over you, before perhaps disappearing and then reappearing. Why did this person choose you? Why did they treat you so brilliantly and then treat you so awfully? Why did they disappear like that? Why did they ignore your messages when you tried to make contact? Why did they come back? Did they ever love you? Could they ever love you again? Is there any hope for a relationship to be resolved and healed? These are just some of the thousands of questions which will whir around the mind of the victim of our kind. And the victim seeks closure on the episode to gain understanding because many of your questions appertain from the way that we have treated you, it seems eminently sensible that we should be the ones to explain ourselves to you, to give you that closure, to give you the answers as to why we did as we did, why we treated you in the way that we did, why we went off with somebody else, and so forth. That is flawed logic. In any other circumstance, you would be entirely correct that in order to gain understanding, because of the way that somebody has treated you, go and ask them, why did you do this? However, when it comes to us, you have fundamental problems with regard to achieving this closure. The first is, quite simply, you are never going to get it from us. Here's why. Most narcissists, 99.9%, .9 don't know what they are. Lesser or mid-range. They populate the planet, going through life either as the wrecking ball lesser or as the mealy-mouthed, cowardly, supposedly empathic mid-ranger. When you ask this individual, why did the relationship go wrong? Why did you treat me in the way that you did? Why did you hurt me? That goes through the filter that is the narcissistic perspective. And... With the unaware narcissist, the outcome is either you are giving control to us or you're threatening control. And of course, 
If you ask a question of the narcissist, whereby you're inviting the narcissist to account for his or her behavior, even where that question has been couched in a fair manner, constructive, without venom, it will be interpreted through the narcissistic perspective as a challenge to our control. That means that the narcissism immediately, with alarms blaring and klaxons uh, roaring, identifies a threat to control and therefore in the unconscious of the narcissist instructs the narcissist to reject this threat to control. You will be given a lie. There will be deflection, projection, blame shifting. Why did you hurt me so badly, you ask? The narcissist tells you, I didn't hurt you. What are you talking about? Denial. Or, I only hurt you because you hurt me. Blame shifting. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's just that you did these things to me at a time when I was very vulnerable and sensitive. Provocation and blame shifting. You will never, ever be given the actual answer by the narcissist. The lesser and mid-range narcissist won't give you the answer because they don't know what it is. Because the narcissism will never allow them to know what it is. That is how their narcissism works. With the greater or the ultra, we know what the answer is. But we're not going to tell you. We are not going to say to you, well, the reason that I hurt you was as a consequence of the fact that I became bored with you. Your fuel became stale to me because, you see, I have to have this thing called fuel. And you were threatening my control at the same time. Therefore, I needed to lash out and punish you. That's why I treated you badly. I know that you understand that you didn't do anything wrong, but you have to understand that from my perspective that you did. And because I'm devoid of emotional empathy, I have a huge sense of entitlement and no concept of accountability, it was okay for me to beat you up, to slash the tires on your car, to confuse you, to cheat on you, to chase after other people, and so forth. That's why I did it all. You will never ever be told that by the greater or the ultra. Why? Because that transfers power to you, and we are not so stupid as to ever do that. Accordingly, when it comes to gaining closure from us, you will not get it. The lesser or mid-ranger can't give you the answer because they don't know what it is, and the greater or the ultra won't give you the answer even though we do know what it is. The problem then becomes that when you seek this closure from the narcissist and explanations and accountability, you threaten the narcissist's control, and therefore either consciously or unconsciously, the narcissist must reject your threat, nullify that threat, and will do so with many of the range of manipulations that we utilize, from either completely ignoring you, spewing out a word salad, taking you through a circular conversation, threatening you, provoking you, lashing out at you physically, in order to get you to shut up and stop asking us to account for our actions. You might be on the receiving end of a pity play, which makes it seem like the narcissist is sorry, blaming the fact that he just can't help his demons inside that have caused him to behave this way. All that's happening there is you're experiencing blame shifting to these apparent demons and a complete rejection of actual accountability for the behavior. Invariably, the explanation that you are given has shreds of plausibility about it but often doesn't make any sense, and you can't reconcile it, so you keep asking. And all you're being done here, all that's happening here rather, is that you're being taken on a merry dance by your emotional thinking and, of course, the narcissist's desire to assert control over you and gain fuel from you. You, as an empath, have an addiction to the narcissist. This creates emotional thinking. One of the things that this will do is get hold of your various empathic and narcissistic traits to corrupt them to keep you feeding your addiction by breaching no contact and continuing to enter into interactions with the narcissist. One of the ways this is done is to get hold of your truth seeker trait and to basically whisper in your ear, you need to get the truth, you need to gain closure, you need to understand. And all of that seems valid and relevant to you, but it's flawed logic because once you realize that you're dealing with a narcissist, you must understand that you cannot gain closure from us for the reasons that I've already explained to you. Unfortunately for you, because you have heightened emotional thinking as a consequence of your continuing engagement with the narcissist in some form, whether in the relationship or outside of it, this means you don't see the situation clearly. 
And your emotional thinking makes you think, I need answers. I have to get closure. He has to explain himself to me. It's only right that I receive an explanation for the way that I have been treated. No. All that's happening is you're being conned into continuing to interact with the narcissist by trying to spend time with the narcissist to get these answers, by communicating over text or telephone call to get to the apparent truth of the matter. And your addiction is laughing at you. It's rubbing its hands with glee because it's conned you through emotional thinking into continuing to interact with the narcissist and thus feed it. You will never gain closure from us. We will either refuse to speak to you, ignore you, give you answers which make no sense, give you answers which have a degree of plausibility, but still leave you wanting further explanation. That we lead you on a, on a goose chase where you think you've got an answer, but it leads to another question, which then you think you get the answer, which leads to another question, and on it goes. You never gain closure from the narcissist. You should never attempt it, because to do so is a fool's errand. Not only will you not get it, but then you'll give us fuel. You will also suffer an adverse consequence. You'll get frustrated, irritated, upset, annoyed. You might even get hit, struck, smeared. And you will keep your emotional thinking high. Instead, you gain closure from the narcissist by making your own closure. You close matters through the imposition of your no-contact regime. And you don't seek answers from the narcissist you were ensnared with. You seek the answers from me and my work. There, they will be provided to you in cold, hard logic. And it may take you some time, as your emotional thinking comes down, before you can readily accept what I tell you. But over time, you will. And, of course, should you need further assistance, you can utilise my involvement in your recovery through consultation. Many people do, to maximum effect. You make your own closure. You access the right information, mine. You gain the answers. You apply them. And then you realise why you were treated the way that you were. Why it is pointless to go to the narcissist. Both in terms of not getting an answer and further risks to you. You gain, as time goes on, as you reduce that emotional thinking, understanding of why these things happen to you. They make sense. Never attempt to obtain closure from the narcissist that you were ensnared with. Instead, make your own. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.